Hello everyone and how's it all going? Welcome back to another episode from Louis Garage and today we are going to be working on the 147 GTA again which is really cool because I haven't really done much on this car recently so it's actually really good to do a little bit more work and you know add a few mods in there here and there uh, so I'm really excited about this one it is the front strut brace um, so I've ordered this from uh, Sportiva I believe it is uh, Squadra, Squadra Sportiva um, and it is the Weiches, uh non uh, it's it's the the Weiches, um standard strut brace so I think you can get one which is uh, made out of alloy like the, the center section here is made out of alloy um, but I've just gone for the standard one because you know it's it's red and it looks pretty good um, and I don't think there's much difference in performance really between the two you can get a carbon one as well um, but I'm you know I'm not baller enough to get a carbon one so <laughs> just the standard one is fine for me um, so I've actually installed a rear strut brace already and I'll, I'll quickly show you that as well so we'll come back to the rear of the car I was lucky enough to be able to get one of these um, it's an ultra racing uh, rear strut brace and I think it's actually for the standard 147 um, not the GTA but it actually fits the GTA as well um, so what uh, what this does here is it actually clips into um or you know sorry bolts into the so um what this one does here is that it bolts into the seat clips um so when you release the seat and when you drop the seat you can actually get to the clips and you can you can install this really really easily so this one was quite straightforward and to be honest i did actually notice a difference after i installed this rear strut brace the whole rear of the car felt like it was a lot more planted a lot more connected um, it's really hard to describe sort of the feeling behind it, uh, but I definitely recommend if you can find one of these, which I think is a little bit difficult now, I definitely recommend doing this because it's a really cheap, really simple mod and doesn't really change the car in terms of looks. It's very stealth, um, but I think it makes a big difference to the handling. Right, so back to the front of the car and what do we need to do first? Well, I believe we need to remove some of these uh, suspension nuts first. Uh, I think probably it looks like we need to remove three. So it looks like it's these three at the front here um, and then on the other side we need to actually remove the um, brace for the engine stabilizer so you can see here there's a little brace that connects to the engine stabilizer and i think that is all built into one thing now with the strap brace so i'm pretty sure we need to remove these three bolts as well so we'll go ahead and do that and then uh, we'll put the strap brace in it should be pretty easy to install hopefully So once you get the nuts off, I would just give the surface a really good clean because the strut brace is actually going to be sitting on top of the metal surface and if it's dirty and if it's got debris and lots of other stuff on it then it will um, start eating into your metal. So just give it a really good clean, make sure there's nothing really really weird in there and uh, make it nice and new for the new strut brace. Alright, so we've removed the two 17mm nuts on these bolts uh, and also the 15mm bolt that goes through here. So you just want to make sure that you keep all of the washers and all of the bits that you get off um, because we'll be re reusing that. And the only thing you have to do here is you actually have to remove this bracket. So it just lifts up out of place, it's really simple. Um, and you just want to keep that in a safe place because you may want to return it back to factory spec at some point. Um, so make sure you hold on to that. And uh, we'll just be putting in the strut brace after this. Uh, so the other thing you have to do is you have to unclip this connection. And it just goes there because um, the strut brace goes on top there. And we might be able to clip that back in once the strut brace goes on. 
um, otherwise you might have to um, tie it down somewhere else with a cable tie. Okay, it seems like this little plastic bracket needs to be removed as well. So it's just a 10 millimeter bolt and all it's doing is just holding uh, these, these cables together. And this cable here, um, down the bottom here, I don't think it's necessary. I think if there's a, a lot of movement, then I may look at doing some cable ties and stuff. Um, but it seems like it's pretty not necessary. So it should be okay to remove that. And then uh, we should be clear to put our strut brace down. Okay, so the strut brace install uh, is a little bit more complicated than I expected actually um, because what I found was this uh, brake fluid slash clutch fluid reservoir, the cap was actually almost touching the strut brace. So what I've done is I've unbolted the um, reservoir and I've put just put in some 6mm um, washers um, just to separate it out a little bit, just to push it out a little bit, and it means that I can actually open the cap um, even when the strut brace is installed as well. So I think that's probably okay. I don't see any problems with that. Um, so we're just going to install it like that and see how it goes. So yeah, just a couple of little steps there. So it's probably a good thing I'm doing this video, um, just so you know how to do this. All right, so I decided um, I ended up putting five six millimeter washers between the bottle uh, and the um, firewall at the back there um, So yeah, I think that's probably okay. If you have a look at the gap here That looks pretty good. Doesn't look like it's gonna touch um, So I think we'll go ahead with with five washers on each side So just tighten up all these bolts um, and I don't think I've got any specific torque settings for them. Um, they do have nylocks on them so it's not really that bad. All the nuts um, will stay in place. Uh, I would probably put around about you know 40 to 50 newton meters of torque if you have a torque wrench um, then that's that's easy to measure. Um, otherwise you know just do it hand tight um, using, using a ratchet. Um, don't try and do it too tight because you don't really need to um, and then you'll have it installed. Um, I think the last thing to do is actually just to tighten uh, these bolts here, um, the ones that, that sway um, and rotate on the strut brace, because um, they are pretty loose when, when they come um, from factory. Um, so I'm going to try and do that, and then uh, you can see there's a few paint chips on there as well, so I'm going to touch up the paint chips using some red paint that I've already got. Um, that's just normal when you're installing stuff like this, um, so I'm just going to try and touch that up, and then we should be all done. Alright everyone, uh, welcome back. Um, it's been a couple of months since I put the uh, strut brace on at the front and I just got back from my very first track day driving the GTA uh, at Pukekohe Raceway which is a, a race course here in Auckland, New Zealand uh, and the car did amazingly well. Uh, I only had like one tiny little minor thing which was there wasn't enough uh, brake fluid so the brake fluid warning light kept coming on uh, in the high G corners uh, but apart from that, the car was was really amazing. It was really fast as well, actually, which kind of surprised me, considering I haven't really done that many mods to it. Um, and is the front strap brace uh, really worth it? You know, do, do I feel any difference? Um, I actually did. I, I think it actually really makes a big difference because uh, the car is a lot more controllable. Uh, the car is a lot better on the limit. Uh, it's very linear. You know, you can really tell when it's going to let go. Uh, and I think the turn-in is, is much better as well. It just feels more solid uh, in general. And so I think that contributed to my enjoyment um, on the track. And it's such a cheap and simple to do upgrade, um, I don't really see any reason not to do it. So I, I can definitely recommend um, the strut brace upgrade. And it just looks really good as well, you know, it makes it look more like a race car, right? <laughs> and that's what, that's what we all want. <laughs> so um, yeah, so, so I think it's definitely worth doing. Um, so hopefully I'll be uploading a lot more videos about the GTA, I've just done a few other things to it as well. Um, so stay tuned and I'll see you in the next episode. Catch you later.